All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is gonna be build update number two on my Team Durango DEX8T. This is Team Durango's newest 1.8 scale Truggy. Now, uh, being build update two, typically I'm assembling something in uh, the chassis, whether it be um, putting on the shock towers or that type of stuff, but this build has actually went so quick, um, quicker than any other kit build that I've done, because lots of the components were actually pre-assembled. So um, you see the shocks there; those were actually pre-assembled. The discs were pre-assembled. The bulkheads were actually attached to the pinion and the CVD. There was lots of things that were pre-assembled, and it really made this build super fast. Now I know some people were concerned about. Uh, you know, the quality of the build uh, being that someone else put your kit together, but I can assure you that uh, everything that I touched on my kit um, was actually very nice. Uh, everything was uh, snug down uh, very nicely, uh, nothing was over torqued, and um, anything that needed Loctite, like on the uh, CVDs or even on the uh, pinions uh, for the, the bevel gears, everything was uh, perfectly Loctited. Um, I found the build quality of whoever put the portion of this kit together very, very nice. Now, uh, being once again build update two, I'm almost done. Uh, the final episode, which will air uh, in just a couple days here, uh, will show you the final product. So I have a couple of supplement items on their way in here to the RC network. I have a servo horn, I have some additional 12 gauge wire, um, just little bits and pieces that I needed to complete this uh, kit uh, that I was kind of waiting until I actually started to put it together before I ordered some of those parts. Like the servo horn, wasn't quite sure of the height of which one I wanted to run. So um, those things will be hitting here and you'll see those installed in the final episode. So also painting up the body scheme right now, it's gonna turn out pretty cool and you'll be kind of surprised at the color choice that I chose for my Truggy here. So uh, let's kind of take a little walk around here and show you uh, what has uh, been installed, what worked out great, and kind of go from there. So I have uh, pretty much all of the electronics mocked up. I have soldered in um, a lot of the electronics except for uh, the addition of the battery wire. So I kind of ran out of wire. The Tekken system comes with about uh, about eight inches of wire and uh, there was about eight inches of wire used here to go from the ESE to the motor. Found that this placement was ideal for my setup. Um, I like to have everything kind of neat and tidy and, and very well organized on my kit. So uh, the BLS-177 went in without a flaw, uh, just waiting for an Ofna servo horn. That's a very low profile one, uh, so I can have an even uh, throw of the um, actual servo arm. So uh, that'll be installed in a later episode here. Still kind of uh, deciding what to do with my switch here. I may end up chopping it off. I'm not sure yet. I uh, got the fan mounted, the sensor wires all hooked up, the 4038 motor went in perfectly. I have not set my gear mesh yet because I do have a longer shaft pinion coming in. Now, being that the motor is so far back set from the uh, center uh, differential, I wanted a additional support pinion. So I have a couple of them coming in from Techno RC and they are the long shaft pinion. So a little bit different from what you see there. Um, on over here to the battery and the receiver box. I do have my Futaba receiver in there for my 4PX. I have not wired everything up yet because I do want to center my servo before I do anything else. Um, onto the battery, the Track Power 4S. Uh, went in there perfectly. I actually have it sideways because it fits in the battery case a little bit better. Um, as far as the way I have the battery set right now, I have it right in the center, one spacer in the front, one spacer in the back. Um, other than that, electronics went in great. Um, the shock setup, this is probably the first time you guys are seeing the shocks here. Um, one thing I was a little bit baffled on, and thank you Vass from Aussie RC Playground for pointing this out, um, the rear shocks uh, seem to have those short springs again. So kind of what we've seen on the Creighton, Talion, and some of the other vehicles from Arma, uh, being the Team Durango is kind of the big brother or the race version of those. Um, very short springs here, and you can kind of see how much preload I have. Um, I need to contact uh, Team Durango and see if that was maybe a mistake, because they are about the same size as the front. So I will contact them and see if mine was just a fluke or 
if that was intended. Now, the spring rate does feel good, but I have very little adjustability, being that I'm almost at the very end of the uh, actual preload adjustment here to engage the actual spring. So, kind of see there, there's, there's almost no uh, uh, play right there, and it's kind of almost coming out of the retention clip at the bottom. So, uh, as far as the way the kit has went together, um, everything has went together great. I have no complaints on it. There's a couple little bobbles here and there that I kind of came across. Um, one thing being the receiver box uses these tiny little screws that are a million miles long. So, uh, kind of a pain in the butt if you do want to get the receiver uh, box out. It's for those screws and they are just a mile long. They're literally uh, three quarters of an inch long and like a... 1.5 millimeter uh, wrench socket to go into. So um, anyways, that was a little bit of a pain, but other than that, um, everything has done great on the kit so far. My only gripe uh, so far on the kit is maybe the compatibility of some of the Arma kits. Same battery tray, you have the same um, uh, braces. Would have been nice to see maybe a little bit more of a racier type of battery tray, if there is a such thing. You know, something that doesn't have um, the kind of Arma stamp to it. So, um, but other than that, great kit so far. Really happy with the quality of parts, uh, the way everything, the fit, and everything else, the function of everything, and can't wait to get this thing actually running. So, uh, that's it for update number two. I have uh, the rest of the body to paint up. I have wheels coming in here that you guys will see in the final episode, and just some of those supplement parts. So, and we're pretty much done. Wing went to their, went together great. It has kind of a uh, Proline trifecta little uh, kind of wicker bar up here. It comes actually with two of them. Bolts here on all four points. Nice wing buttons. These are aluminum, but that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little episode here of my DEX8T. I can't wait to run it. Well, till then, guys, comments, questions on down below, and as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.